much of control systems depends on your understanding of differential equations. So here is a quick review of differential equations. In this control systems class, we are going to deal with linear, ordinary differential equations with constant coefficients. A differential equation of this type can be written like this. a sub n x n plus a n minus 1 x n minus 1 and so on equals b n minus 1 y. In this system, x is the output, y is the input. The notation x sub n is shorthand for derivative to the nth, so this is derivative of x n dt, the nth derivative of x with respect to time. Same thing for the y sub n's. The system is linear because the derivatives always appear by themselves, not as squares or multiplied by some other derivative. It's ordinary because there are no partial derivatives, and it has constant coefficients because the coefficients a's and b's are constants. An equation that has this form that you might be familiar with would look like this. x double dot plus 2 zeta omega n x dot plus omega n x is equal to f of t. This is a generic second order differential equation. The output is x, the input is f of t. The solution to this is something x, which is some function of time. The goal, of course, is to find the solution to the differential equation. That solution is made up of two parts. One is a transient response. The transient response in a linear, linear ordinary differential equation with these constant coefficients comes by solving the homogeneous differential equation, that is solving for this. This is the homogeneous differential equation. The solution to the homogeneous differential equation can be found by looking at the characteristic equation. The characteristic equation is found by replacing the derivatives of x with powers of lambda. So the characteristic equation in this case is a sub n lambda to the n plus a sub n minus 1 lambda to the n minus 1 plus all the way down to a0. This is a polynomial. The roots of the polynomial are lambda, n, lambda, n minus 1, and on down. And the roots of the characteristic equation can be used to find the transient response of the system. The transient response of the system then has the form x homogeneous, or transient, of t will be this form, a n e the lambda n t plus a n minus 1 e to the lambda n minus 1 t plus, and so on, where lambda may be complex. That means that x homogeneous of t will be made up of exponentials, sines, cosines. That follows directly from Euler's identity, which is e to the bi is cosine b plus i sine of b. We'll discuss this more later. This is just a quick review. The second part of the solution is the steady state response, and that is found by including the input response. And there are two methods. One is variation of parameters, and the other is method of undetermined coefficients. Fortunately, we are not going to discuss those in the class, nor do we need those in the class. Our goal is to be able to characterize the solution to the differential equation without ever solving it. And our primary method is going to be to look at the roots of the characteristic equation.